guys hello all you lovely people today i am back with a speed build for you my first city living speed builds and i'm so excited to share it with you guys uh i had so much fun building this and i haven't done a park yet or a community lot in a while so i thought it was about time yeah, and you know guys, City Living is out and I love the expansion so far. I think they have done a really good job with it. But uh, I do have one complaint, okay? One, just one complaint. <laughs> and yeah, I I love what they did with the apartments, the trades, how they work, etc. But for the other builds, for the community lots, um, I think they could have done so much better. <laughs> Um, I feel like they didn't put as much time and effort into those builds. Uh, for example, if you look at the Central Park in San Mishuno, Mishuno? Munchuno? I don't know. I don't know how you pronounce it. But anyway, if you look at the Central Park in the new neighborhood that came with City Living, it looks very bland. Um, I feel like it looks uncompleted. Um, so that is one, my one and only complaint so far. The... Uh, community lots could have they would have needed a bit more love i think but i anyway i i just decided to make my own park and share it with you guys so in comparison with the old park this park has a ton of stuff in it it is a 64 by 64 lot so it is huge and yeah it took me a very very long time to build so i cut a whole lot out um but I don't think you guys will notice how much I cut out because um, obviously I didn't edit out any major parts of the build, just minor things that I didn't think necessary to keep in the video, um, like terrain painting under trees and uh, also some parts that took me a very very long time to build, I did edit to be shorter, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, let's just say I had to edit a lot because it's such a big build, but I don't think you guys will notice too much. So yeah, as I said, the park has a ton of stuff in it, at least in comparison to the old one, but let's forget about the old one, okay? I'm not gonna bring it up and again, and again, and I'm not gonna bring it up again, uh, but like, mm, this the lot is like divided into four parts and each part has a different activity in it um, so we have one place for eating and that part contains like food stalls or food carts and places to sit because uh, you need to sit and eat because I mean guess you you don't have to sit and eat but it's nice to be able to sit and eat um, and it also has like a picnic area with nice cozy blankets <laughs> um, and then we have the part I'm working on right now which is like the music festival area um, so this one has like a stage and places to sit and I'm gonna add a lot of items to make it look like there has been a party here for sure <laughs> and then this this is like um, a hangout spot with bubble blowers or hookahs and um, then we also have like a basketball field and in the middle we will have lots of water and a beautiful bridge so this this might be a no okay this is for sure the favorite part of the build or my favorite part of the build it turned out so well in my opinion and i don't know it's because it has a very cozy and romantic touch to it i don't know it's it's just very colorful and it has like a lot of candles and those trees with hanging lights in them and it has like rose petals on the ground and it's close to the water which also has like rose petals in it and uh, floating candles and it's yeah it's just very romantic and I love it so here in the middle I just put water uh, like a fountain uh, just to give the sound effects of water in live mode because uh, then I cover it with flowers um, 
And under the flowers, I put those bubble maker and steamer things from the get together pack so that in live mode, there will be like bubbles coming out of this thing. <laughs> and it just looks super awesome in live mode. And it fits the whole theme. And I mean, bubbles are cute. Yeah. <laughs> and then I put hedges around this thing just to give them a bit more privacy because like, I feel like this is a place you would go on like a romantic date and you'll you'll see later why this is the perfect place to go on a date because it's as i said it is just so romantic and i love this place i would go on a date here for sure um and i also put up some speakers because um music <laughs> you might want uh, some music so uh, adding speakers and i'm also gonna place some uh, bubble blowers or hookahs. Uh, I don't know why they name them bubble blowers in The Sims. I I suppose it sounds more family friendly, maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm also gonna put some of them outside of that thing um, under the trees too. So there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I think it's nine in total. So there's a whole lot of them. But before I do that, I um, I decided to take a break of that thing <laughs> and move on to this uh, basketball court thing. Um, Cause you, you'll you see me jump back and forth a bit because I was planning out where I wanted all the things and stuff. So yeah, I will jump back and forth a lot, I think, or not a lot, but <laughs> anyway <laughs> it's um it's just easier this way it is such a big build and i tend to run out of ideas in big builds like whenever and and <laughs> whenever i run out of ideas and don't know what to add next i like to take a little break from that and just work on something else for a while and um yeah then when you come back to it later you like view it in a different light I suppose <laughs> and you have new ideas and yeah I just like to take small breaks when uh, I'm stuck on a build and um, yeah we'll come back to that later but first I finished this basketball court and I really like it <laughs> uh, and instead of real benches I put like stairs instead of benches and obviously your sims cannot sit on the stairs <laughs> but I really they really do look like the benches you would find at a real basketball court, like in real life. So yeah, it is up to you guys if you want to replace them with like actual functional benches. <laughs> but I, I really like the stairs. And uh, yeah, I'm just doing some terrain paint around it. And I am so happy that I actually found matching terrain paint to the tiles that they used outside of the build. Um, like the tiles surrounding this lot and uh, yeah because sometimes there's just no match matching tiles or paints um so yeah that is really annoying in my opinion so i'm really happy that i found matching dream paints <laughs> so yeah now we are back at the hookah hangout spot and i just want to say again how much i love this part of the build it just oh i love it so much and it's just so colorful and i really want to do more colorful builds um yeah <laughs> i think i'm gonna do a whole lot of community builds because there's there's so many people doing apartments and penthouse builds and <clears throat> sorry guys and of course i'll do those too i actually have an apartment build coming up for you guys but i haven't seen so many community builds so i really want to do that and also because I'm a bit disappointed by the builds in the game already. That's one reason why I, why I want to do more community builds. But yeah, <laughs> I think there will be a very colorful, romantic community build coming up soon, guys. So be excited for that because I'm really excited. I kind of have one planned. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I put some rugs down too and that made this even more colorful and started on the landscaping and <laughs> I like color so much so I'm gonna add some more very colorful plants and flowers too 
<laughs> like this part of the build really pops. It stands out from the other parts of the this build, um, but that's on purpose. I wanted this part to be like magical and have a warm and exotic feel to it. So when you sit here, you're supposed to feel like you're in some other different part of the world and I just love it. <laughs> How many times can I say that I love this, but I really, really do. So instead of adding like lily pads to the water, I decided to use these rose petals and I see me doing this a lot from now on. The petals are just so beautiful and I wish I had had these for my Halloween builds. Not because they look spooky at all, <laughs> but because they go they could go as fallen leaves too, perfect for fall builds. And then I added some floating candles because I mean, that is so romantic and it adds to the magical feel to it. And yeah, you can see that I skipped ahead of time a bit. So I did edit like a lot of this out, but you can see that I've added a lot of these colorful pink flowers and I just love it. <laughs> There we go again, me saying I love this, but I really do. And uh, yeah, bunch and bunch of flowers, some benches and these natural looking lamp posts. And guys, speaking of fall and it being summer in game, it makes me miss warmer times, guys. <laughs> it's okay. So it's been snowing for a week non-stop it's a never-ending blizzard and i'm so tired of it already <sighs> yes snow is nice during christmas but we always have a ton of snow here and it gets super cold and let's just say i'm not ready for winter to begin already <laughs> i'm just not ready how do you guys feel are you ready for winter do you want snow <laughs> like see are you like hyped for Christmas and stuff? Cause I don't know. I just, I like snow during Christmas, but oh, not yet. I'm not ready. Not ready. I want fall to be longer, way, way longer than it is. But yeah, nothing I can do about it. The weather has, the weather gods have, have spoken. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But uh, while I was rambling and complaining about the cold, I finished the hookah hangout spot and uh, I did edit out me putting petals and floating candles to this other pond as well. And uh, I have moved on to the bridge, <laughs> this lovely, beautiful bridge. And uh, to the bridge, I added these posts with hanging lights on them that came with this pack and I just... Uh, I just love this item guys I love it <laughs> um we used like three different versions of it in this one build <laughs> and uh, I don't know I just see so many creative things you can do with it so I'll be using it a lot and uh, of course adding some rose petals and floating candles to this last part of the pond and then guys I move on to some uh, detail landscaping and finish off the area around the uh, basketball court. Um, just very simple landscaping, mostly just green plants, <laughs> no pop and colorful flowers in this part of the park. No, no. <laughs> So this is the food district. This is where I put all the food stalls or food carts. <laughs> this is the place to be when your sims are hungry and craving some spicy meals. <laughs> Here you will find some Mexican foods and Indian foods and also a, a uh, hot drinks, a tea and hot drink stall if your sims are just thirsty as well as a vegetable and ingredient stall in case your sims want to buy some fresh and nice produce. So uh, this place is just really cozy in my opinion. I used those uh, posts with hanging lanterns again. <laughs> it really is one of my favorite buy mode items though from this pack along with like all the candles and oh the food stalls. I am so excited for food stalls. 
like don't you guys agree that is one of the best items we could have gotten in my opinion like in a city living back um so yeah i'm really excited about the food stalls and i am happy we got such a variety of different foods it is it is just amazing guys i love it <laughs> i love it <laughs> and and you know guys I would really like to know what your favorite item is from this pack so leave me a comment down below telling me what your favorite item is that would be really fun uh, or like tell me what you guys think of this pack as a whole do you guys like it because I really do <laughs> I'm gonna tell you a short story okay because to be honest it's actually better than I thought it would be <laughs> I was expecting something like Showtime, like this Showtime expansion pack that we had for The Sims 3. And I did not enjoy that one, okay? I hated it. <laughs> okay, not hated. Hate is a strong word. I really disliked the or that expansion pack. Um, so I was pleasantly surprised by this expansion pack, really. Like, I am glad this pack is more about like festivals and foods and not about celebrities because <laughs> like when this expansion pack was first announced a lot of people started hyping about celebs on twitter and i was like no <laughs> please do not bring back celebrities so yeah i am just really glad this pack doesn't revolve around celebrities <laughs> so yeah i'm really happy about this pack and yeah, I hope you guys are too. I hope you guys are enjoying this pack, expansion pack, as much as I am. Because, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, anyway, I am done with the food district, guys. And as you saw, except for the food stalls, it also has a seating area with benches, but also two picnic areas, because I thought that was cute. <laughs> and what is a park without a picnic spot? Like, yeah, right? I'm, am I right? <laughs> but yeah, moving on, we have some details left, mostly in the, the uh, music festival area. I also added a couple of um, public toilets, <laughs> the ones you find in the debug category. Uh, but I do edit that, I did edit that part out because it, it, it's not that interesting, really. <laughs> And I also added like a few mirrors to the hookah hangout spot and um, a sign and uh, yeah, just uh, checking if I had missed any cool items and I found these signs that I have had missed, like I hadn't see seen these at all. Um, so yeah, I put these around the park, mostly at like the food area and yeah, I just really like these signs. They they look cool, okay? <laughs> um, so this is like a protest area. I don't know. <laughs> I just thought it was a fun place to put this protest thing. Um, yeah, along with like a uh, canvas for your sims to paint on. And uh, yeah. Um, more of these uh, posts <laughs> with hanging lights because you can never have too many of these. Um, and they really do add like a festival feel <laughs> and that is great. And uh, yeah, just not much else to say here. I did some, or I do some landscaping and then I'll put some detail into this festival part because like, yeah, I don't know the feel, the look and feel I was going for here is like, party and festivity but it's also like way more dirty than the rest of the park because <laughs> with party comes alcohol and i imagine a lot of young people are here and yeah i just add a whole bunch of bottles and empty mugs from the debug category but uh, yeah unfortunately i think think some of the mugs were removed when I saved this lot so I don't know <laughs> and uh, also like a picnic area over here with uh, more empty mugs <laughs> just so many empty mugs uh yeah this part is quite dirty but yeah I like it and up on the back of the belts I thought it would add like a lot of posters and graffiti because I don't know I just thought it was fitting um 
And I also add this thing where your sims can go paint graffiti themselves if, if they would, would want to, <laughs> I suppose. Um, yeah. But yeah guys, we are almost done with this build and we'll jump into the screenshot soon and I really do hope you guys enjoy this build and if you did, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and uh, there's a download link as always in the description box down below and I love you guys and I'll see you soon.